Right, so there's also one other thing. I've had a lot of questions about what the bypass valve does when the car's idling and what position it should be in. So what I've done is set this up so you can see it as it should be idling um, and being revved up so you have an idea of what your bypass valve should be doing because this one works and works well. So there you can see it idling with it open. So the engine at this point is breathing through the bypass valve, okay? So the bypass valve will start to close when the throttle is applied and it starts building boost. You should be able to see that if I go over and bring the, uh, bring the revs up a bit. As long as I don't suck anything into my intake. should have given you an idea. I'll cut back to me in a quieter environment. So I hope that helps you understand your bypass valve. That is how it behaves in a no load situation, which is why you saw it snapping closed as opposed to sort of just gradually going closed like that. So it sits like that when it's open and under a no load situation like you saw, it just snaps like that. But under normal driving conditions, it moves slower and more controlled because the engine's under load. Um, so obviously free revving it like that, it's just gonna snap back and forth, um, close and vent and close and vent. Um, but I hope that helps you guys understand what your uh, bypass valve should be doing. Um, I was gonna film this bit a little bit better, but my gimbal's just doing what he wants. Um, and so is the camera for some reason um, but yeah basically it should be open at idle that's how it breathes so at idle it will sit in the open position and when you rev it right up it should snap closed and you should hear it when it snaps closed because it will suddenly go quiet and then go or just poof some kind of stupid noise like that as you saw in the video <laughs> I'm not going to try and impersonate a supercharger um, but basically it should be open at idle because that's how the engine breathes when you've got the standard set up the supercharger is not engaged so the supercharger is stationary if you didn't have the bypass valve which is why it's called a bypass valve by the way um, if you didn't have the bypass valve then it would be trying to draw air through the supercharger which is a massive restriction whereas with the bypass valve staying open it draws air naturally through the bypass valve so your car prior to the um, supercharger engaging is naturally aspirated and then once your supercharger started spinning it will slowly switch over and close the bypass valve and switch over to being boosted um, it's a very simple primitive design and pretty much the same sort of thing applies to a twin charge system as well you have a crossover valve um, so a bypass valve is designed to bypass what is making the boost so it will breathe through the bypass valve I believe it'll breathe through the bypass valve and then when it's making boost it will then breathe through your power adder whereas BOV is 
closed at idle and only vents boost it doesn't allow the engine to breathe through it um, so that's a subtle difference and that's why you can have a few problems when you stick a BOV on these cars um, and like I said in the airbox video I'm going to try and figure out a way around that many people have tried some have succeeded but I don't know with what results and how well um, and I think I also said that in the other video um, so I hope this got this helps you guys diagnose your BOVs or bypass valves it's a bypass valve it's not a BOV it's a bypass valve god even I'm getting confused now anyway guys see you in the next one thanks for watching don't forget like and subscribe